it might be dark and rainy here, but that's actually a good thing because Northeast Iowa is finally out of extreme drought. Let's get to some more positive news for your week. The Centennial Bridge in Rock Island has been lit since 1988, but this week for three days, it went dark for the birds. Birds migrate throughout Iowa in the warmer months, but there are some days when the traffic's a little bit heavier. You can check bird migration websites for more details on that. But on those heavy nights like we've been having this week, even few lights getting turned off can save thousands of birds. WQAD has more on this story. And you can also switch your light fixtures or flip them off to help birds as well. The first fruit trees were planted last month in a new orchard for everyone in Dubuque to enjoy. Community leaders broke ground and planted a few trees in what will eventually be an orchard of between 15 and 20 fruit trees. They won't be able to pick for a while, but once it is, the community orchard will be available to everybody. And it'll produce apples, cherries, pears, and more. Check that story out at Radio Iowa. It is harder for visually impaired folks to go on a run. Before they left the University of Iowa campus this spring, some students and community members in Iowa City learned how to help. It's called guide running, or helping a blind person to navigate terrain through the use of a tether and verbal commands. Team Run Free led the presentation, and students now plan to start an official guide running program in the city. Read more about that in the Daily Iowan. If you like stories like that, subscribe to Positively Iowa on our website.